Okay, so you just saw the video and I just wanted to take a second to explain the different benefits of doing what I did. First, it's ornamental, it's decorative, it's really nice to look at when we walk inside. That's our main entrance into the home, so it's just nice to have there um, to come inside too. Two, water retention. Mulch is obviously good for covering the soil underneath and making sure that the plants or the water doesn't just absorb or, um, you know, dry off due to the heat, especially with the temperatures that we're experiencing right now where I live. Um, originally, I just wanted to put mulch down around to keep the weeds at bay, but then, you know, don't work harder, work smarter. So I put it down around the base of the plants too to help with the water retention. Three, like I mentioned, weed control. Because I put the cardboard down, the weeds around the plants that I put there purposefully aren't going to grow. The cardboard stops them from growing. There's no sunlight for them to photosynthesize, so I don't have to worry about that. There are a few places that I did put I didn't put cardboard down, but a little bit of weeding isn't gonna be, you know, a big deal. Uh, fourth, I've essentially just created a no-dig bed. Um, around my plants. I've created another space to garden. Buddy. It's basically maximizing <laughs> maximizing the space that you have. So, you know, come the fall, I can put some brassicas down there or just something really ornamental and pretty, um, but also usable. You know, you can put down some kohlrabi. They have really pretty leaves. Um, you can put down some beet, um, some beets. They probably won't grow very big because I didn't put, no, that's probably about four inches. I wanted to put down enough that I could grow something underneath it. Originally, I was just going to put mulch down, just uh, cardboard and mulch. But then I was like, you might as well add soil to make it a usable space. Uh, really, you just need to add some fertilizer to it if you want to grow something like vegetables. You can put down some biotone, fish fertilizer, compost, manure, the list goes on. But <laughs> um, So that's at least four benefits of doing what I did in the space that I did it. So as it gets full sun, full sun is a minimum of six hours a day. It's not actually an entire day of sun while partial sun is at least three hours so it definitely gets full sun so i shouldn't have an issue growing anything there so thanks for hanging out with me and listening to my son play in the background i hope you guys have a great day and we will see each other soon